Now, I just want to make one thing perfectly clear. I'm not actually going to re- not- uh, uh. Hello, people of the interwebs. This is Luke Moore bringing you with another video. And as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reviewing the handcrafted Handy Day Notebook Steve Collection. So ever since the announcement of the Blue's Clues reboots, I had an urge to rewatch the entire series. And right around the time they were having auditions for the new host, I found out about a website called HandyDayNotebooks.com, where this independent person in uh, Massachusetts uh, makes replicas of all the notebooks from the original show. And uh, then I thought, you know, since I'm going to rewatch the entire show, I may do a little something special while doing it. Now, I just want to make one thing perfectly clear, that I'm not actually going to be talking to my monitor and watching the show, interacting with it. No. Basically, when Steve draws the clue, I'm going to whip uh, these out and draw along with it, him. Uh, because I haven't been drawn in a while, so hopefully this will help me get back into one of my oldest hobbies. I mean, come on, I'm not that big of a man-child. So, without further ado, let's take a look at these notebooks. Okay, so before we get into the actual notebooks, I do want to show off these things that they also have. So, first off, you have this, uh pack of sticky notes that are in the shape of Blue's Paw Prints, or the clues if you prefer. And they also have a sticker sheet which contains 20 little tiny paw prints. Now I did not purchase these uh, myself, so the fact that they just basically threw these in for free with my order is actually pretty neat. I do appreciate it. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, standard handy dandy notebook or the uh, super duper notebook in the UK or the user friendly notepad in uh, Portugal. But here in the US, this is Steve's notebook. And overall, um, I really do like it. Uh, for something that's like homemade and not really mass produced, it does a pretty good job resembling uh, the one in the show. Uh, it's not in the same quality as the original toy, but it's still a nice little replica. Uh, the detail is good, the thinking chair here, the background, green background, the black border. Uh, it is laminated, uh, but the problem is it's the cover and back cover is like very flimsy. It's made of like a little cardboardish paper, but it still gets the job done. Uh, these are for kids. After all, and as you noticed, uh, the inside, it has no detail, but, eh, it's whatever. Uh, the red spiral is made of a pretty hard plastic, I don't think I'm gonna be breaking anytime soon. And, unlike the original toy, uh, where it had dry erase paper, this is just normal yellow construction paper. And you get 50 sheets of paper per notebook, which is good, unlike the original toy, where you only get 14 sheets. So, yeah, the only real complaint that I have is, and I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but the shades of green on the front and back covers are actually different. So, that's kind of an eyesore, but other than that, it, it does a pretty good job. I do like it. Next, we got the birthday theme notebook, which is basically the same thing, except it has a ribbon on the front and the back to make it resemble a present. And, uh, and I don't know if you could tell this, but the thinking chair on this one is smaller and the green is a lot darker as well. But overall, it's basically the same thing. Uh, mine is a bit warped right here, but eh, it's whatever. And there wasn't really an original toy. Uh, the only way you could get this in toy form back in the day was like a subway kids meal toy so yeah th I, I'd say this is much better 
Then we got the Treasure Hunt Notebook, which, again, looks pretty good. The only difference is that instead of the Thinking Chair on front, it does have a little treasure chest. And it looks pretty good. Uh, the gold here is not actual, like, sparkly gold. It's just that flat, oh, looks like gold type of thing. But it still looks pretty good. Uh, there's no secret compartment in it, like in the actual episode, but eh, it doesn't really need it. Now, this is not the one that comes in the uh, Steve Collection Pack. This is a standalone one that comes with a dry erase treasure map and a dry erase crayon, which I'll get into later. The one that comes in this pack is this one, which is basically the same thing, except it's got a gold border right here, and it has a gold spiral, which, uh... Eh, it's okay. Uh, I do prefer the more show accurate one, but this one still looks okay. Uh, it's it's advertised as the gold treasure hunt notebook because of the gold spiral. So, yeah. And uh, there is actually some lettering here. It says uh, www.handydaynotebook.us. Uh, that's the official website. So, yeah. So it's nice, but uh, again, I do prefer the more show accurate one. Next, we have the Nighttime Notebook, and again, looks pretty good. Uh, the original toy was just this big, giant hunk of plastic, and you lift it up, and there was a light here. It's just, it wasn't show accurate, but this one is, and it really does look pretty cool. You got the yellow framed, you got this, uh, I guess, chalkboard black background, uh, the stars and the moon. I think it has a yellow outline, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, down the back, again, it does have the website there. So yeah, um, funny thing is, in the US version, uh, this was only seen when uh, Steve went outside to draw the second clue, but in the Portugal version, this was used throughout the entire episode. So, that's an interesting fact. The holiday theme notebook, which we never had a toy of before. But it's kind of funny, we got a Joe holiday notebook, even though that was never in the show. But now we have it here. And uh, it looks pretty cool. It got snowflakes, they're all different on the front and back. And you got a present on top of the thinking chair. And uh, and here's a problem with these notebooks. Uh, since the spirals are close to the edges, you do have a little uh, damage on the covers. So just be careful with it. Yours may vary. Uh, but by, unfortunately, I got unfortunate with this one. And in the actual episode, when you shook it, it, it made like a jingle sleigh bell sound. But uh, of course, this one doesn't do it. But overall, it's pretty cool. And finally, we got the Nature Notebook. And uh, it's pretty unique. Uh, you got the thinking rock on the front. Uh, sticks or twigs for the outline on both front and back uh, the brown spiral it, it looks pretty good now there is some pros and cons to the original toy uh, the pro is that it doesn't have that uh, stupid uh, pouch thing like the original toy uh, so that's really nice but the con is unlike the original toy uh, the paper is yellow instead of a uh, that cardboard box beige color like in the actual episode. So I'm probably going to buy some brown construction paper and uh, replace this paper with that to make it more show accurate. But uh, overall, uh, it's pretty good. I do like it. I like all of them, uh, really. So yeah, so that's it for the notebooks. Uh, let's take a look at the crayons. So each notebook comes with one box of jumbo crayons, but if you buy the Steve collection, you only get two boxes. So I have three boxes in total, but we're just going to take a look at one. So these are jumbo striped crayons. Uh, you get green, blue, black, and red. Uh, they are non-toxic. Uh, and on the back, you get the barcode and then the address. And there's a little picture that you can color in, but 
honestly, these crayons don't really work on uh, laminate cardboard. So, there's that. So, first we got the default black crayon, and it, it looks pretty good. Uh, it does look like the one in the show. Uh, the green stripes on the paper look good, but however, as you can tell, they can get a little bit marked, so just be careful when you're pulling and taking them out of the box. And they fit in the notebook, uh, not snug, but they do okay. Of course, they're going to like move around. Uh, it doesn't really click in place like in the show, but it still gets the job done. You just got to be extremely careful when they're in there. So, yeah, looks pretty good. Then you got the green crayon, which again, looks pretty good. Uh, it does look a little bit more turquoise, but considering that it's going to be drawn on yellow paper, I think it, think it's okay. So it looks pretty good. And you also got the blue and red crayon, which this is just a personal problem, and I know a lot of kids won't care, but I wish these stripes were more accurate. Uh, it makes sense for the green and black crayon to have the green stripes, but here I wish that the blue crayon had blue stripes and the red crayon had red stripes, just to be more show accurate. But they still do the job, otherwise it doesn't really matter what they look like as long as they get the job done. And I did test them out. I drew them in the uh, the golden uh, treasure hunt notebook, and yeah, it, they work pretty well. Uh, there's no smudging. They don't leave any residue. Uh, it does what crayons need to do. Now you do have two extra crayons. Uh, first, it, with the treasure hunt notebook, you get this dry erase red crayon for the map. And this is the only way to really draw on the map. Uh, these crayons don't really work with it. And yeah, it looks really well. Uh, it doesn't really smear that much and they're easy to wipe off with the tissue. And uh, yeah, this crayon is a lot more show accurate. It actually does have the red stripe, unlike the one you get in the four pack, but uh, it is smaller. So that's kind of unfortunate. And also I wouldn't recommend using this with the uh, normal construction paper because it may smear on it. So there's that. And you also get a blue crayon with the uh, wooden paper uh, for the nature notebook. And this is actually really surprising because I only, I thought you only would get this crayon if you bought the nature notebook on its own, but apparently you get it either way. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's not a sky blue like in the episode, but it's still a blue nevertheless. And uh, yeah, there's cracks forming in it. So I don't know if that means it's not oil based or not, but oh well, they still, they still do get the job done. So yeah, that's pretty much it for everything. So overall, these things are pretty cool. Uh, whether you're a little kid who loves Blue's Clues and you want a notebook, or if you're an adult who wants some merchandise from your childhood, uh, these are a pretty cool thing to have. Now, like I said, I did get them from HandyDannyNotebooks.com, but that's not the only place where you can get them. Uh, this person also has an eBay store, they have an Amazon store, and uh, a few other websites, so there's multiple ways that you can get them. Now, the ones that I showed off are the ones from the first four seasons, or the Steve era. Uh, they do have uh, notebooks that were used by Joe for the fifth and sixth seasons, and uh, I'm probably going to get those later on in the future, and once I do, I'm going to have a video showing off them as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video whenever I make it. So, bye-bye, folks.